Good evening. I welcome you all for this family prayer. Thus far, God's grace was sufficient to us. He has kept all of us safe and sound. In remembering his faithfulness, shall we all sing the hymn, Loving Shepherd of Thy Sheep. meditation I have taken Psalm 14 the fool says in his heart there is no God they are corrupt their deeds are wild there is no one who does good the Lord looks down from heaven on all mankind to see if there are any who understand any who seek God. All have turned away. All have become corrupt. There is no one who does good, not even one. Do all these evildoers know nothing? They devour thy, my people as thou eating bread. They never call on the Lord. But there they are overwhelmed with dread. For God is present in the company of the righteous. You evil doers frustrate the plans of the poor, but the Lord is their refuge. Oh, that salvation for Israel would come out of Zion. When the Lord restores his people, let Jacob rejoice and Israel be glad. Here in this psalm, once again, we hear the cry of of David. From this psalm, we'll have to understand one thing. That is, though God seems to be silent and not interfering the day-to-day -day life, it is clear that he is looking at this earth always. He knows all the happenings here on this earth. What is that he was looking for? In verse 2, we read, the Lord looks down from heaven on all mankind to see if there are any who understand, any who seek God. God is always looking for somebody. He was in search of somebody who is in search of God. If we seek God diligently, if we really look for God always, then I am very sure he would take care of us. That's what we read in the verse 2. It says, The Lord looked down from heaven on all mankind to see if there are any who understand, any who seek God. If we seek God, he would bless us abundantly. That's what we read in the Bible. We know the story of Noah. How he was saved in those days. He was the only one righteous person. When God wanted to destroy this earth, the Bible tells us he found favor. Noah found favor in the sight of God. That's a wonderful thing. If today God looks down, do you think that we will be 
getting any favor from the Lord? Do you think God would be pleased with all our activities? Just think for a moment. In the Bible, we read that nothing is hidden from the sight of God. If you come to Psalm 139, verse 7 onwards, if we read, it reads like this. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide. Your right hand will hold me fast. Surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me. Even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will not shine like the day. For darkness is as light to you. Many times we do not understand this. We think that God is not able to see us. We are in darkness. But here the David's experience is that even in darkness God can see. Even if we spread our bed in the depths of the waters, there God is there. So whatever the situation it may be, don't be disappointed. Don't think that you are in darkness and there is nobody to help. Don't think that God is not able to see. God can see wherever we may be. He can see in the darkness. He can see under the water. He can see even if we fly high in the sky. Only one thing what we will have to do is that if he thinks that we are seeking, looking for him, then immediately he would extend his helping hand to us. He is our shepherd as we sang just now. He is our loving shepherd. We are the sheep. And as the uh, author of that hymn writes, Keep me, Lord, in safety. Keep. Nothing can by power withstand None can pluck me from thy hand. As we sang very happily, remember, God is our shepherd. Nobody can pluck us from his hands. We will be very strong day by day. Everything will pass away, but God's word and God will never pass away. His blessings would be upon us always. Only one thing, when he looks at this earth, he should see us as looking for the one who is seeking God. When he thinks that we are seriously looking for him, I'm very sure as Noah and other saints found favor in his sight, we also will find favor and we can continue to do well. God bless you. You all must be knowing what had happened today morning. Our section, Mr. Nabi, suddenly passed away. Morning, he got up. He had his tea. Around 8.30, he had some chest pain. He collapsed and he was taken to the Sassoon hospital and he expired. His funeral took place around 1.30 in the afternoon. May the good Lord give peace to the family, especially to his wife, Mumdaj, and the children. In the year 2005, he came to our church. He was introduced to our church by Mr. Lawrence Doba, who was the secretary of that time, I think. I'm not very sure he was the secretary or Mr. Dete was the secretary. But Mr. Lawrence Doba introduced Mr. Nabi to our church and he was appointed. That time I was there. My, his appointment letter was given by me. 
I was looking hesitant when he joined our church. I thought he comes from Islamic background, how he would adjust with our faith and how he would do all the arrangements in the altar. First day I instructed him properly. I thought it may be a little difficult for him to understand and follow it, but that was the only one day I told him what to do, what not to do. Very sincerely, he followed that instruction till his death. There was no confusion at all. He prepared the altar table and all the arrangements for every service in a very, very proper manner. We never had any confusion or any unwanted things. He did so well. He was around 62 years, I think. We'll have to pray for his family. I'm very sure our good Lord would strengthen them. I'm very sure God would lead them and guide them. He was very eager to come and serve our church after post lockdown. But we do not know what is God's will. God has not given that opportunity to serve him in our church. But I am very sure God would grant peace to his family. Let us pray. Loving Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for keeping all of us safe and sound. As David says, our days are in your hands. We do not know how long we will live on this earth. But one thing we know that when the time comes, we'll have to come to you. Lord, we commit Mr. Nabi, who very faithfully served this church for the past 15 years. Now he is no more with us. Lord, we commit his family, <coughs> especially his wife, Mumtaj, and the children, and she are keeping. Lord, be with them, console them, give them your peace. Help them to overcome this difficult situation with your help so that in the days to come, they can continue to come a little closer to you. Lord, we commit each and every member of our church unto your keeping. Bless this night in a very special way. Help us to sleep well, help us to have proper rest and help us to get up early in the morning to glorify your good name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. Good night. God bless you.